information is everywhere nature keeps on broadcasting it through signals ancient indian scholars interpreted these signals with great reasoning and insights and new knowledge prevailed one of the most important breakthroughs of the time was the science of natural healing ayurveda corroborated through the practices of centuries ayurved established panch mahabhut siddha this grand unifying principle explains that everything in this universe is made of five basic elements ether air fire water and earth constituted in different proportions when combined in pairs the panch mahabhut form tridosha or the three humors based on this panch mahabhut and tridosha the prakriti of an individual evolves in modern scientific context the premise of treating a physical disorder on the basis of tridosha has found a very interesting correlation with genomics In a recent research it has been found that EGLN1 gene correlates with the phenotype of pitta as described in the ancient text of Charak Sahita the study suggests that the phenotypic classification of India's traditional medicine has a genetic base as a personalized medical practice ayurved can easily identify predict and prevent a disease by implementing therapies like panch karma the therapy believes in finding the root cause of the problem and corrects the imbalance of mind body and emotions The research has shown that the medicine which is given through nasya can actually cross the blood brain barrier. I would say that this is the very advanced technique. The two well established processes of ayurved, kasht aushadhi, the pure herbal preparations, and rasa aushadhis, the herbal biomineral metallic preparations have stood the test of time. the ayurved is standardizing its extraordinary rich knowledge of medical herbs to illustrate their quality safety and efficacy in curing ailments bahu kalpam bahu gunam sampannam yogyam aushadhi so all these parameters are really the basic protocol for standardization of medicine even after so much of skepticism Ayurvedic formulations like bhasma and rasa sindoor have proved their effectiveness to modern science. A study carried out in Bhabha Atomic Research Center and Raja Ramana Center for Advanced Technology came out with the conclusion Our work not only helps to understand the non-toxicity of rasa sindoor but also establishes the Ayurvedic synthesis method for a well-controlled end product. All mercurial preparations mentioned in Ayurveda are inorganic in nature which are more stable more safe they never can enter into system circulation Another laboratory test of rasa sindoor on drosophila showed that the larva fed with this mercuric preparation had better thermotolerance improved size of salivary glands improved fertility and increased lifespan the usage of plant materials along with this minerals when it comes to rasashastra we understand the symbiosis and the strength of symbiosis between the plant materials and the minerals both are coming from the nature they are not different 
one of the most important medical discoveries in the 21st century is the role of the microbiome on health and diseases. Ayurved understood this relationship between digestive health and diseases and therefore emphasized the gut as the key to longevity, vitality and mental well-being centuries ago. Today we have learned that gut bacteria actually controls diabetes, cardiovascular disease. And this is measurable from your stool test by genomic measurement. Today's understanding of genomics and yesteryears of understanding of Ayurveda has a place to come and convert. Today, Ayurveda is evolving and aligning itself to WHO mandates with its established, predictive, participatory and personalized approach. The Ministry of Ayush is endlessly endeavoring to spread this unique system of healing by creating a viable ecosystem. With its old premise of constant search for truth and adopting innovations, Ayurveda is set to move forward as ever, as an ever-evolving science.